The popular team principal Gunter Steiner surprisingly left his role at Haas earlier this week, ahead of the 2024 F1 season. He did not see eye to eye with owner Gene Haas over the future strategy for the team, so his contract was not renewed for this year. Steiner, who had literally become the face of the American team since its inception in 2016, will make way for the director of engineering, Ayao Komatsu, to step in his role. While the news may have come as a shock to many, the insiders would have seen this move coming from a mile away, with everything that's been going on behind the scenes at Haas. How did Steiner react when he discovered he had been sacked? And what are his plans beyond Formula 1? Let's find out. Haas enjoyed early success, including a fifth-place finish in the Constructors in 2018, but has slipped towards the rear of the field over recent seasons, with owner Gene Haas electing to replace Steiner after eight seasons at the helm. Haas entered Formula 1 in 2016 with big ambitions, but little of that has been achieved after eight full seasons. Where it was hoped for a steady progression to the front of the F1 grid, the US team is still in the second half of the standings. The 2023 F1 season was again one significant setback, with a car that could not move forward, and a last place finish in the Constructors' Championship. Gene may have been the team owner, but Haas was the brainchild of Steiner. It was he who approached Gene Haas with the idea to form Formula One's very first American team. Despite being the owner, Gene was always more like an investor for the team, with Gunter taking on all the major responsibilities to keep the team alive in the cutthroat world of Formula. The tension between Gene and Steiner had been building up in the last couple of years. And it all came down to the performance of the team, and their vision for the future. While Steiner thought the team needed steady investments in the coming years for growth, Gene believes that the team has underachieved with the current level of resources, and the technical partnership with Ferrari. Asked if the news his contract was not being renewed by Haas had surprised him, Steiner said, Obviously nobody was happy with the results in 2023, but I didn't see this coming. I knew that the renewal of my contract was coming up, and then when a renewal is coming up, it can be that it's not getting renewed. Revealing when and how he was informed of the decision, Steiner said, It was a phone call from Gene Haas to me. I was in Italy on my Christmas break, and he called me up between Christmas and New Year. Asked if he was ever conscious that his newfound celebrity status could have been an issue for Gene, or other employees at the team, Steiner replied, Not really, but thinking back now, it could have. But in the end that celebrity gave the team a lot of exposure, brought in very good sponsors like MoneyGram, because they liked that because they could use that profile. There are always positives and negatives to any deal, so maybe there were some positives, and somebody brought up the negatives. These are things you cannot always plan for, because I was not out there trying to look for celebrity. I didn't get up in the morning to be a celebrity. I get up in the morning to work. But I think it worked a lot in favor of the team, because without that maybe it would have been closed before. On the track, Haas slipped back to 10th and last place in last season's Constructors' Championship, having improved two places to 8th the year before. Gene said in an interview with F1 earlier this week that Steiner's exit ultimately came down to performance of the team on the track, and that although he was not saying it's Gunter's fault, he felt it was time to make a change, as he was embarrassed that they haven't been able to do better, given their technical partnership with Ferrari. Despite introducing a radically updated B-spec car that converted it to the popular downwash side pod solution, America's sole F1 entry still struggled in the closing rounds. Asked if he had a response to the use of the word embarrassing, Steiner said. I think everybody can choose his words, but you need to think about the people which work for you and put a lot of effort in. Obviously, when you say these things in the end you have to live with the consequences. Asked if that was a fair assessment of what had led to the parting of ways, Steiner said. I would say what is a fair assessment is, when you look at the other teams where they're going since the budget cap came into place, a lot of teams, all of the teams, invested in the infrastructure. Therefore it is not spending money, it is investing to use the budget cap, the operational budget cap, as best as possible that you can put money in to make the car go quick. Some people started straight away in 2020, 2021. Some people started last year, but everybody is doing it. I think that was one of the things. I look at the other ones and I suggest what needs and should be done. Although ostensibly only the team principal at the Banbury-based team, Steiner's influence and role was significantly wider, while he is also credited with ensuring the team's survival in 2020 during the COVID-19 pandemic. Obviously, I think without me in 2020, it wouldn't have been around anymore. But Gene Haas owns the team, so in the end he's free to do what he wants. I cannot accuse him of anything. I can accuse him, but it doesn't do anything, because he can make his decisions, he is free to decide. 
I am actually fine, my life will continue. I will have fun, I will stay around. Something will pop up. In the end a good period in my life came to an end, but maybe an even better one starts. It was 10 years and it was okay. If he doesn't want to continue with me, he's free to do that. Amid suggestions that he could sell his Formula 1 squad following the exit of Steiner, Gene has offered a response to such proposals. The only American team's F1 track record has been rather poor over the last few years, and it might not be a bad thing for the sport if Andretti ends up buying Haas to become the 10th team on the grid. When Haas first raced in F1, the one thing that stood out more than others was the business model. As close as it could be aligned with Ferrari was what the team opted for, and it reaped some impressive rewards. The start of the season has seen the team compete for points, and that was the case throughout the season. This continued to be the case in 2018 as well, but when a team's fate is so intertwined with another team, when the bigger team falls, the smaller one suffers even more. One of the major issues that have plagued the team is the surprising unwillingness of Gene to spend money on his F1 project. While every other team on the grid is making great strides towards the front of the grid and making improvements, Haas just hasn't shown the same drive, and it could be a result of the owner not willing to put his money in the project. Haas seems to maximize whatever it could achieve in F1, the team doesn't have much of a future if the owner is not willing to spend money on the project, when that is the case, Gene should sell the team to Andretti at a value that would be much higher than the one at which it was bought. There's clearly little appetite within the other teams and F1 itself, to hand Andretti Global an 11th franchise to join the grid. As tensions simmer between the teams and promoter on one side, and a muscle-flexing FIA president on the other, all the steam could be taken out of the situation by Andretti simply becoming one of the 10. That was Andretti's intention originally, when he tried and failed to buy Sauber. And taking on Haas and its hard-working staff would be far easier and more sensible than starting from scratch, even if the model it operates to needs a serious shake. After eight years in F1, the only thing Gene can be happy about with his team is the fact that the value of his team has skyrocketed. These days, and in the worst-case scenario, an F1 team is valued in the region of $900 million to $1 billion, but that does not mean Haas is looking to sell his team. Speaking to Formula One's official website, Haas was discussing the matter of Steiner's departure and went on to talk about the future of his team, insisting there are no plans to offload the outfit. I didn't get into F1 to sell the team. I did it because I wanted to race. Gunther had the same perspective. We're not here to cash out, we want to race and be competitive. If you look at any team, historically, they have had a lot of good years and a lot of bad years. Surviving is one of the characteristics of getting better. As long as you can survive, you always have another year to prove your worthiness. This is a big change. Losing Gunther is going to cause the team to have to focus on other aspects. We will hopefully come out better for it. So, what are your thoughts on Steiner's departure? Do you think we will see him back in Formula 1? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below, and subscribe for more.